On the line, former Prime Minister John Howard, good morning. Good morning, Neil. Thank you for your time. It is a bit indecent to be celebrating a death, isn't it? No, yes, but what that really means is that she did have an impact. If she hadn't have had an impact, people like that wouldn't behave in such an unseemly fashion. Whenever you see that kind of behaviour, it's uh, an endorsement of the way in which somebody who's meant to be the object of the derision has actually changed a society and contributed in a mighty way to changing the world. And uh, that was Margaret Thatcher's legacy. How did she, she change? How did she change the world? Because she and Ronald Reagan and the late Pope John Paul II, as individuals, did more to bring about the end of the Soviet Empire than any other people. It was the resolute stance that Reagan and Thatcher, and um, at a moral level, and particularly given that he came from Poland, Pope John Paul II, they together exerted enormous uh, military, political and moral influence and it brought about the end of the Soviet Union. And that's the biggest single event in terms of the political framework in which the world lives, the biggest single event that um, I experienced in my lifetime. You, you, you've mixed with many world leaders over the years, and I ask this knowing that uh, the relationship you had with them, with them, it probably wouldn't affect you this way, but was she, could she be an intimidating person to deal with? Well, <clears throat> given that we, we dealt with each other uh, on a party political level, we were never in government together. Yeah. When she was Prime Minister, I was Opposition Leader, and I saw her several times. I didn't find her intimidating. Uh, you, you listen to what she had to say because she always had something uh, emphatic and sensible to say. Um, I suppose in some senses other people would have found her intimidating, but isn't that true of anybody who uh, uh, has uh, a uh, <clears throat> position of great authority? I suppose other people feel a little bit intimidated by them, but uh, what was so outstanding about her was that she was resolute, she was determined and, and she had the right values and she knew that things had to be done in Britain to turn the country around and it will be her, to her lasting credit that she arrested Britain's inexorable decline and although Britain will never be what she was at the end of the 19th century or she was left spent and exhausted after two terrible world wars where she carried such an enormous burden but she did uh, Margaret Thatcher, that is, she did manage to restore a lot of British pride. She also lifted the British economy. She broke the overwhelming and overweening power of the trade union movement in that country. And as a testament to how right that was, her successor, her Labor successor, Tony Blair, did not reverse any of her trade union changes, and he told me that they were right for Britain. You, uh, you, you've run through some of her strengths, which are the better known ones. I just wonder, that little piece I played, did she have a sense of humour? Oh, yes. Um, uh, she was um, always focused on the business of the media, <laughs> but she, she had, a, had a sense of humour, uh, and uh, I found her uh, enjoyable company, but she was a person who didn't waste time on trivialities, and uh, a lot of people like that. Weaknesses? A big fun. Did she have weaknesses? Oh, we've all got weaknesses. Uh, I'm sure she did, but I'm not going to, in the wake of her death, I'm not going to start reciting her weaknesses, but I'm sure she had them, and I'm sure she would acknowledge them. Okay. But, uh, uh, you know, the, the net uh, assessment of her life must be... She's, she is, in my judgment, with Reagan, the two great conservative figures of the post-World War II period. He's the greatest British Prime Minister since Churchill. And um, uh, she did so much not only to bring about the end of the Soviet Union, but the way in which she and Ronald Reagan restored the special relationship between Britain and the United States to a level that it hadn't enjoyed for some time, and I don't think it's really enjoyed since. I thank you very much for speaking to us. How are you going? I'm extremely well now, aren't you? I'm, I'm well, but yeah, I'm, I'm not former Prime Minister. <laughs> <laughs> no. How's your football team going? I don't want to talk about that, thank you. Um, could I just just one thing? I mean, they sure. said they reckon you could pull out an election from nowhere. You got any advice for Julia Gillard? How to win it? <laughs> well, 
Well, I, if, I no, I don't really think I have. I want the. I'm, you know, as you might surprise, surprise. I'm backing the other bloke. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I'm backing the other person. <laughs> Th- thank you for so much for your time. <laughs> okay. Bye bye. John Howard, former Prime Minister.